Ta-da! All right, so patch notes. This is a huge. This is a huge patch. This is a huge patch. Okay, so Sage got fucking destroyed. She's dead. Sage is dead. Heal reduced from 100 over five seconds to 60 over five seconds. That is literally almost in half. It is almost in half. They almost, they almost cut it in half, which is insane, right? And now the self heals reduced from 100 over five seconds to 60 over 10 seconds. Slow orb, size increased, reduced by 30%. Say no more. And then this is, okay, this is the most confusing one to me because obviously the wall is a multi-purpose tool, right? You can boost with it, you can block with it. Uh, it's kind of an information gatherer because they have to destroy it unless they want to wait, right? Cost reduced from 400 to 300. All right, I like that. I thought it was a little too expensive, but, okay, fortifying barrier is a new thing that they added. Wall forms at 400 HP. After a three second delay, the wall becomes fortified to 800 HP. Now, in the patch notes, they say that they wanted it to be less reactive, but here's the thing. The wall is only active for 30 seconds. So it's like you either insta-wall or you don't, right? If you don't insta-wall, all they have to do is shoot it for a fucking second and it's gone. So what's the use of the wall now? Boosting? Is that it? Is that the only use for the wall? I don't know. Sage is destroyed. The kill joint nerf was kind of interesting, I thought, because she's not gonna have the big, uh, she's not gonna have the big, the big impact that she did, right? Okay, added a brief wind up before damage begins. So that's gonna let people know that it's about to happen, which is good. I think that's a good change. DPS reduced from 60 to 40. Eh, I think that's a little harsh, but also good. That's good. Good stuff. Okay. Visual effects have been added to make it easier to spot the grenade on the ground. Stealth audio range has been increased slightly. Also great. I think that whole thing is pretty good. But I think the DPS lowering is going to make her a little bit less impactful. Which is probably good. That's probably a good thing. But I don't know. And then this is kind of like, I don't know. This is good. No longer revealed by Sova's Recon Bolt. Which is nice. Because no other traps and shit are. Uh, and it more effectively shoots at an enemy's last known location. So that is kind of like a nice little information gathering tool. So I think more of a quality of life change than anything for Killjoy, but you know, not bad. These next two I'm really excited about because I love Breach. I love Viper. They're two of the most interesting characters to me. And this, uh, this change allows Viper to have more team playability, which is fantastic, right? Okay, toxic screen for wall can now be placed during the buy phase of rounds through spawn barriers through spawn barriers so she can throw her wall at the beginning of the round and it'll end up across the map crazy that's gonna allow you to make the other team think that you are somewhere it's going to increase her mind games which is excellent right toxic screen now goes up faster <sighs> thank you quality of life decay this is huge Decay on all smoke abilities no longer affects allies. All smoke abilities. That means her ult. That means that you can stack in her ult with your team. Bruh. That's going to be fucking amazing. There's going to be some hype plays with that. That is full sight lockdown. The area of Viper's Pit is now shown on her team's minimap when deployed. That's good. Nice little quality of life. I think this is going to make Viper's team play ability way better she's gonna see a lot more pick percentage i think i'm gonna play her today we're gonna play i mean today's gonna be a lot of breach and viper now let's move on to breach off-screen flashes now behave now match behavior of other flashes in the game and apply a minimum amount of flash more aggressively so basically it just means if you aren't looking at the flash it's gonna flash you still which is what phoenix flash does it's what all of the flashes do except for reina's you know what i mean so charges increase from two to three huge that's fucking huge guys Two, three flashes for Breach means that he can be more aggressive, right? He can use one of them selfishly. He can use one of them to push for himself and then still have two for his team, which is gigantic. And then reduces the wind-up time by 0.1 seconds, which is good too. That means that it's going to be harder to dodge, harder to harder to react to, which is good. I mean, I, I think in a situation like this in tactical shooters, flashes should be hard to, to react to. Because if you look at Counter-Strike, you have stuff like pop flashes, and you have stuff like 
uh, flash lineups that basically when they enter the field of view of the opponent they're going off it's not like you see the flash grenade and then you're like oh that's a flash time to turn around right which is good alt change which is nice detonation delay uh, between blasts decreased from 0.3 to 0.255 which basically just means the ult's going to activate faster it's going to give less people time to react it's going to make his initiation stronger which is huge now this next change to breach is probably the most game changing change game changing change game changing update of the patch and that is now his concussion descopes players and prevents them from rescoping we'll, we'll take that in for a second d scopes players so that means if there is an op holding an angle and you concuss that angle that op is not going to be able to scope right and we all know that 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 uh, unscoped op shots are very inaccurate they're completely random <laughs> so that means that now and i mean we all know how far the concussion goes so it's it's great it's genius i mean this is a great change this allows a it allows breach to be picked more because it's an obvious counter to a very strong meta that's going on right now and b well i guess i can't really think of b it's great it's gonna be a lot of, we're gonna play a lot of breach today because this is fucking fantastic shotgun nerfs more shotgun nerfs which is great i like that I think shotguns are way too strong in this game. Way, way too strong, okay? Uh, all shotgun aim punch update. When you're getting headshot by a shotgun, the aim punch will be lower than all other weapons. Fucking fantastic, thank God. All shotgun tagging tuned for targets beyond 10 meters. Hitting an enemy past 10 meters will apply a different tagging value to them instead of the standard tagging. The new tagging value is 30% slow for a 0.5 seconds on a smooth curve back to normal speed. This is large. Because I can't tell you how many times I've been judged from across the map, been stuck in place, and been gunned down by someone else. That is so annoying. Shorty nerf. And this, I think, is pretty big. Uh, the shorty is in a really, really strong place, especially being at 200 credits. That's so cheap for a gun that can essentially one-shot people, right? Uh, first fall-off range reduced from... 9 meters to 7 meters, so you have to be even closer to get the shorty kill. Updated headshot multiplayer from 3x to 2x. Now it's the same as the judge in the bucket. Judge nerf, price increased by 100 credits. I don't think that that's good enough, personally, but hopefully we see less uh, judge play. This is a step in the right direction for balancing the two top rifles of the game. Increase the firing rate from 9.25 to 9.75, so faster firing rate, which is nice, which means it's going to be better in closer situations right because you'll be able to get more bullets off faster and then they increase the damage by one so now it's 30 instead of 39 it's 40. this this is a big one okay the hit impact visual effects update server hit visual effects confirms will now spawn at the location of the hit on the character's head and stay attached to that position previously it spawned at the game space location and stayed there okay so that's just going to kind of give you a little bit more visual hit clarity which is nice. An addition, and this is the one that I don't like. An additional client predicted small spark visual effects now spawns immediately at the game space location of a hit. With this change to attach our traditional server hit visual effects, we wanted to add an additional immediate bullet feedback so you can see the area where your bullet landed and adjust your aim accordingly. Think of this new visual effects as an improved tracer. It's important to note that the bullet is his client predicted. Seeing this does not mean your shot has registered on the server. I think that's just adding fuel to the fire. I don't think that that's going to solve anything, personally. Uh, remakes were added, thank fucking god. Um, and then they added a bunch of observer stuff uh for like recording cinematics which is nice um and then they gave the option to hide your name in lobbies so if you're streaming people can't just stream snipe you new skins new skins look at this trash look at this trash right here what is this what is this crap look at this crap I mean, these are all fucking ugly as hell. They're so fucking stupid. But look. All they have is the different variant colors. This skin pack better be cheap. Cheap. So that's everything. It'll be in classic noodle style. 
So, a little bit of comedy, a little bit of action, a whole lot of fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. Okay, you lined up, fuck. I don't 32. Come on! Get me in the line of fire. I think we're done playing this game today, guys. I think I've reached my limit.